Hey guys, this is R for Trans Youth. Um, so, as usual, again, I'm late doing my video. Um, but you know, this time, I, have, I think I have an already excuse. So, um, when was it? Yesterday was my 21st birthday. So, what was I doing on Tuesday? I was getting my drink on. Um, yeah, and I worked the, d the entire day too, so... Um, so, yeah. So, here I am. Um, and what's the topic this week? Um, okay, so, this topic's actually a pretty cool one. How do you feel about masturbation pre-op, and do you think it would be different post-op? Is it okay or disgusting? How do you feel about genitalia and sex-related life? Um, let's see. Um, okay, so, I am a transgender woman, and I'm post-op, so I still have that, or I'm, I'm pre-op, I'm pre-op. Um, I mixed up my terms there. Um, so I still have that, that part, unfortunately. Um, and I think it's nasty. So, I'm not gonna lie, though, I'm not gonna lie. I will use it every once in a while because, I mean, everyone gets horny. Uh, so. But it's pretty rare that I will do that. Um, and it's... Obviously it feels good. I mean, it, it pleasures you, but... Um, it feels wrong at the same time. Like, it's not supposed to be there. Well, it isn't supposed to be there. Um... But then there are transsexual women who decide that they want to keep it for their life. Which I don't understand personally, but whatever floats your boat. And for them, you know, I guess they like to just have it and live with it instead of go and get their SRS. Um, let's see here. Do you think it would be different post-op? Well, yeah, I mean, it would probably not be any different pleasure-wise, but it would certainly feel more right. Um, and, like, I'm very try excited to try um, penis and vagina sex. <laughs> um, well, because right now, I, I mean, I date straight men, so right now I have one option. Well, really one option sexually, and that's anal. Um, which I'm not gonna say I don't like it all, but it's something that you have to take a break from every once in a while. You can't do it, like, I don't know, a million times a day. Not that I have sex a million times a day, but, you know. It just gets to be too much. Um, let's see here. Um, so, so far... At the age of 21, which I just became yesterday, um, I have now slept with five guys. Um, and sometimes I think that I'm a whore for having five guys at 21, but then I realize that a lot of other girls have way more than I do, so I'm not a whore. Um, well, out of those five guys, there was one that was interested in the male part. Um, and, well, obviously that felt even wronger, because I, I don't want to touch it, there's no way in hell I really wanted to let anyone else touch it. But, you know, he, um, he was very persistent, and I, I guess I, um, didn't really want him to, but I let him try it out. And yeah, it felt good, obviously, but weird. Um, and the other guys, I mean... They had, we had sex the way we could have sex, but then it's just weird and awkward because we're trying to pretend like the male part isn't there. It's just like, you go over there, we're trying to do this over here. So, you know, it's very awkward. Um, what else we got here? Yeah, I think I covered everything. 
Um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, so... It's something I rarely do, but something I will do every once in a while, because, I mean, everyone gets horny. Um, and it's not like I'm out having sex every day, so... Yeah. But, I cannot wait for my surgery. I mean, I think I just turned 21 yesterday. Um, and I think I've kind of done the math in my head. I think I will have had my surgery by the time I'm 23. I should be able to afford the surgery by the time I'm 22. And then between 22 and 23, like during the time I'm 22, I guess, um, is when I would book the surgery and go through the waiting period and uh, go to Thailand and have my surgery. Um, so yeah. So hopefully within the next two years, I will be a post-op trans woman at 23 years old. Um, and obviously you guys will know. So yeah. This is Zara for Trans Youth. You guys know the drill. If you have a question, um, email to transyouthchannel at gmail.com and comment and subscribe.